Hey Aries, welcome to your next 48. So this is till Friday. I hope you guys are doing well. So sun is in Libra, the energy of justice, balance and fairness and strong partnerships in opposition to Aries energy. So I'm thinking that it might be the energy of wanting to partner with other people and form alliances rather than just being fiercely independent that could be what's going on right now because the sun is very strong masculine energy we're going to have the moon in libra as well so your emotions are connected to who you partner with um, and that is also at an opposition so it opposes the energy of being fiercely independent um, there could be a frustration with the way things are going right now. So you may find some kind of comfort in seeking an alliance with someone else who's going through what you're going through or something like that. Now we have Mercury, Retrograde, and Scorpio. There could be old people from your past who you had a bond with coming back around either to reconnect or for closure. Because Mercury Retrograde sometimes brings people back. And this is an opposition, so it opposes the energy of Uranus, Retrograde, and Taurus. So Uranus rules over the house of Aquarius, which is the community. Mel, come here. Uranus in Retrograde, though, is more subdued and more cautious about, can, you know, it's in opposition to just running out and forming a connection with someone that you think is a soulmate. So... It's asking you to be cautious. There is some communication challenges with the North Node connecting to these major fundamental changes going on in Capricorn. Um, so some people could be finding it difficult to go through all these changes a lot. I think most, most people are finding it difficult. So let's just go ahead and see what's coming in for Aries. What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? And then Mercury retrograde is going to be until November the 2nd, which is election day here in the U.S. And then also Mars retrograde will be until November the 13th. And then they go direct. So pretty much mid-November things are going to get easier and smoother. So let's see what's coming in for the sign of Aries, please. Angels and spirit guides. Okay. Wow. First energy to pop is a king of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Very strong. Very serious energy of communication that's very strong very mm, it could be forceful it could depend on who you're dealing with it's a masculine energy of air air is usually about conflict but this to me is about a decision you could be blocking someone or you could be dealing with an air sign wow so we have the energy of focusing on yourself with the star card. This is about a renewal, spiritual renewal, maybe even letting someone go, cutting someone out of your life and letting them go. Stars in the cross, needing to heal maybe from a person. Um, King of Swords can be kind of cold because they're very, they, they're up in their head. They're not down in their heart. Very logical, very decisive. Wow, so you have the Knight of Swords. You have information coming in in a way that is strong air energy. So you have this communication coming in towards you. What's in the past? Okay, so I have here, which is really interesting. So this whole deck is not in reverse, but the tower just flipped in the reverse. 
So the Tower of Reverse is more about somebody had a mentally, it's not physical change, but they had some kind of mental disruption, like on the inside. It caused you to feel like things were falling apart, although they weren't. It was like a, um, some kind of really, really stressful situation. Okay, so what's crowning here? What's crowning for Aries? Wow, Ten of Swords, okay. So coming into your awareness, you could be finding out some information. Like this is all about information. The cost of this is you're needing to heal from this situation. You're needing to heal from this situation where there's, I feel like it's unnecessary drama. It's the ending of a hard time. It's not gonna go farther. Maybe you had to deal with someone who was backstabbing, somebody who was kind of, you know, Ten of Swords to me feels like very, you feel like this information makes you feel um, hurt or backstabbed. But we have the Sun card is coming in in the future. So all things are going to turn around. Everything is going to work out better. So the sun, happiness, joy, there's light coming in. Because I was wondering, how is the star in the cross to this? Because you're going to be able to heal. Ten of pentacles comes in towards you. Money, wealth, resources, financial security, great abundance. You're reaching that goal of abundance. Okay. What is in the environment? What is in the environment? The Hermit. Could be the energy of a Virgo or it could be somebody who is a prophet or a guru, a wise person, someone who looks at all the details of a situation. So... Okay, your hope or fear is the hangman feeling like you are stuck in a situation. I feel like you're afraid that you're just stuck and not going anywhere and it's just you're hanging in the balance forever, which is never the case. It's always going to move. I mean, wow, so the final outcome is an ace of cups. Some kind of new potential for happiness and emotional fulfillment, which means somebody says to you, Here's an opportunity, and it has a lot to do with your feelings. But there's a, there could also be money right here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's at the ending of a hard time. The sun comes out. Ten of Pentacles is what you get. Okay. So what is the Ten of Swords? Why is this here? Why is there a Ten of Swords here? Tower reversed can be, um, you know, you, it was like a very bad day for you. You just felt like it was very upsetting. It may have been somebody who brought you drama in the past energy over here. Um, you get some good news. So the Ten of Swords is the end of a hard time. You get some good news, Knight of Cups. Somebody delivers the message of something new coming in with Ace of Cups as the outcome. So Ace of Cups is the outcome. You get this messenger. Wow. And so with that came a Two of Cups. So there's harmony between you and another person. That could be at work as well. It's just about mutual feelings of cooperation. I feel like, because behind that is the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Wands, you may have had to stand your ground in a situation where you felt very overloaded, burdened. You were in a struggle. There may have been multiple people that you were dealing with, maybe at work or something. And it felt like a really heavy burden. And this is the energy of Mars where you had to stand your ground and tell, you know, the fire within you, which is 
the wand energy, you had to let someone know. You had to stand up for your beliefs. Okay, so what is this Knight of Swords bringing in towards Aries? What is the Knight of Swords? The Fool. So you're going to get information about a new beginning, um, taking a leap of faith, a new journey, starting from scratch. I know this reading feels like a repeat, but at the same time it can be very com give you a lot of confirmation. Ten of Pentacles is you. Long-term money, wealth, security, ab great abundance. What is the hermit in the environment? What is the hermit? What's the hermit in the environment? What's the hermit? The Nine of Pentacles. Self-sufficiency, independence, somebody who could be an earth sign. Somebody very independent. Having a life of great independence. There could be an earth sign around you as well. Um, there could be somebody who stuck up for you as well, I feel like. Somebody who doesn't give a crap what other people think because they're just... They're secure in themselves. This helps you bring in this abundance over here. The fool, you're going to be able to break free from this drama, whatever this drama was. So you get the Ace of Cups as the outcome. What is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups here for Aries? What is the Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? It's going to be different things for everyone. What is the Ace of Cups? There we go. Hmm. So you're getting a new beginning to get out of this conflict, basically. Five of Swords and Two of Swords. Like, you're going to be getting a situation where you're removed from a situation where there was a lot of conflict. And Eight of Pentacles is on the bottom, so this could be related to a work situation where you're supposed to be working with other people, um, but there was something here about like literally like words were said, and it wasn't pleasant at all. And you're being given an opportunity um, to for a new happier time. Okay. Waves of prosperity, new abundance, and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Wow, so let's hope so. Um, I mean, my readings... Uh, bottom of the deck is the treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall. And windfall seems to be the word that keeps popping up in these readings. So Aries, I'm going to leave it here for you. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com. Thank you so much and take care.